oh, it's gonna take people's jobs away. So is the tractor. Most people are no people. No to TikTok, no to ChatGPT, no to BR, no to AR. No, 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 no. When the world is always yes, 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 yes. Best selling author, speaker, entrepreneur, VaynerX Media, Vayner Sports. I mean, Google it, guys. <laughs> Gary V. What about Die Art Jets fan? And I was gonna get to Die Art Jets. Her. So, Gary, yes. you were entrepreneur as a speaker, an angel investor, Facebook, Twitter. Like, you can see things before they come trend. What practical advice do you have for people who are listening yeah. who want to see the next thing? Where is it coming? First of all, thanks for having me on the show. Great no, to see you both. Gary. I think there's a couple of things. Curiosity. You're not going to find the next thing if you're not looking for it. Are you genuinely a curious person? You could say you'd like remarkable things to happen, but are you putting in the work? You two did not achieve this career in this field by mailing it in. The respect I have for everybody at Radio Row is so intense that is doing the shows because there is so much internships, grinding, eating crow for a decade, yeah. waking up at 3 a.m. for a decade. Like everyone sees you now, but what about the grind that got you here? So one, if you want to find the next best thing, you got to put in the work and you got to be curious. Number two, it's always in your face. The answer to finding the next big thing is being a yes person versus a no person. Let me explain. The next big thing is obvious to a lot of people here. It's called chat GPT. It's called artificial intelligence. Everybody knows it right now. It's in the air. Do you know how many people, Mags, in this entire hall right now dismiss it as bad? Oh, it's going to take people's jobs away. So is the tractor. <laughs> and that took people's jobs away. They found different jobs. Most people are no people. No to TikTok. No to chat GPT. No to BR. No to AR. They feel new things. No, no, no. What about streaming services in Hollywood? Yeah. People just say no, 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 no. When the world is always Yes, 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 yes. A follow up on that. How do you deal with failure? <laughs> You're right. You know what's funny? I grew up a huge Yankees and New York Rangers fan along with the Jets and Knicks. When the Rangers won the cup in 94 and the Yankees won the World Series in 96, I stopped following them hardcore. I'm not sure, because it's crazy, because I really missed a good Yankees run. Yeah, I was going to say, Gary, you failed at Carl Ted. I, I didn't bail because I thought it wouldn't be good or bad or indifferent. It's that the thing was accomplished. I actually enjoy the failure. I think what makes me a weird sports fan, because that's weird, like that's not weird, like most people do. People want to be Patriots fans. Correct. I deal with failure because I don't think it means I'm a failure. I deal with failure because I think it's part of the process. It's the requirement for something great. I even am a little secretly like into it. Like I like being underestimated. I like being razzed. I like it because I'm competitive and I like that feeling of I'll show you. Like, But it's not a like unhealthy chip on the shoulder because I want you to win too. I just want to work for it. There's something very attractive to me of earning it versus the alternative. Gary, last one for you. Please. Thank people out there, if you're listening to this, if you're in a rut, yes. if you want to change, yes. you're not really sure even how to get started, what's the first thing? What's your advice to it? First of all, you know what? A deep breath is kind of neat. Like, no joke. Like, even like right now, I might want to take one. Like, it's just crazy what that does. And that actually happens physically. Like, if you're listening right now, like, actually take a very deep breath. You'd be stunned what happens. But that's actually Right there. It's interesting to me, like it slows it down by a hair. The macro mental version of that, which is if you're in a rut, everything that got you there is actually irrelevant. Just cause irrelevant. 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 Just because the last 42 years of your life haven't gone the way you want it, doesn't mean the next 42 can't. Being very sports nerdy about it, just because the Chargers are up 27 nothing doesn't, like, doesn't mean they're gonna win the game, right? And so to me, understanding that truth and understanding that you are actually capable of changing things, but you have to change your behavior and so the tangible one instead of the mental one is the following. You must cut negativity out of your life, whether that is your mother. And I don't mean never talk to her again, but maybe you don't need to talk to your mom four times a day or she's complaining four times a day. Maybe it can be once every two days. You need to stop listening. This is why the news is a disaster for most people. Yeah. All it's going to do is scare you and make you unhappy. You need to start cutting negativity out and you need to start bringing positivity in. You might have a coworker who's just genuinely a gleeful person and you kind of know them. What about asking them out for lunch? What about becoming a friend with them? Cut Adding negativity, adding positivity is how you get out of ruts. Gary, thanks. To have access to your brain for a little bit, like we are better for it. Gary V, you obviously could follow him on all social channels. Thank you, Gary. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you.